Okay, I'm doing a quick review of keypad quiz questions for diabetes. Um, just know the major learning issues, the pathology of diabetes, its complications, type 1, type 2, etiology, pathogenesis, morphology. Complications of diabetes, uh, both metabolic and vascular, although I cover vascular complications, metabolic complication is part of physiology. Uh, knowing about ketoacidosis okay uh, laboratory diagnosis dr. Jill will cover uh, minor learning issues is all the other types of diabetes secondary diabetes bronze diabetes uh, remember quite a uh, quite commonly bronze diabetes questions have been asked in the exams uh, secondary diabetes secondary to drugs uh, Cushing syndrome Cushing's disease okay and also some of the points i have put is uh, in creatine pathways where the new anti-diabetic drugs are being developed in creatines okay uh, straight away questions 29 year old woman 33 kg um, that is uh, bmi is high obese uh, declining visual acuity in six months fundoscopic examination retinal microaneurysms urine analysis severe proteinuria glucosuria uh, so although the young age is slightly younger it is uh, typical of a chronic presentation six months uh, visual acuity declining uh, so what is the pathologic mechanism uh, anti-insulin antibodies would have been type 1 very young or if it is adult it should have presented quickly that's uh, LADA increased insulin uptake not a known condition to me uh, it's a typical case of a type 2 diabetes so it is peripheral insulin resistance okay um, serum anti GAD 65 antibodies um, are typically seen in type 1 what feature is shown these are the pancreatic acini that is the exocrine pancreas part and this area is the endocrine part the langer hands and it is showing some uh, lymphocytes typically seen in type 1 okay so it is a pancreatic acinus each one um, this is uh, nodular glomerulosclerosis big big nodules within the glomerulus that's the glomerulus uh, each one is glomerular capillary tufts and they are showing dark pink deposits okay nodular glomerulosclerosis if this arrow would have been here it is not uh, no uh, hyaline arteriolosclerosis or thickening of the blood vessel uh, this is uh, diabetic foot ulcer although more history will be given in the exams uh, observe the dark um, center um, whitish but most of the area is inflamed the whole um, toe is inflamed reddish shiny skin uh, surrounding inflammation and central dark scar uh, that is typical of arterial ulcers uh, it usually it will be painful thickening of small blood vessels in this patient is most likely related to which pathologic mechanism it is the microvascular disease or microangiopathy uh, that is hyaline arteriolosclerosis or age deposition within the small blood vessels uh, this is a classic appearance of uh, papillary necrosis section of the kidney gross specimen in a diabetic patient uh, remember uh, papillary necrosis can also occur in um, uh, an analgesic abuse uh, tuberculosis in other conditions also but it is also commonly seen in diabetes papillary necrosis now it's just the same picture as seen before but the arrow is showing those uh, inflammatory cells lymphocytes um, infiltrating within the endocrine pancreas that's the lymphocytic insulitis um, the, this is the diabetes kidney now the arrow is put here that's the hyaline arteriolosclerosis now this is um, the glomerulus totally damaged um, there are still nodules seen nodules of uh, glomerulus sclerosis but most of it has uh, fused out now and there is scarring around the uh, glomerulus so it's almost the terminal stage of uh, glomerular destruction in diabetes uh, 
and this one is uh, the blood vessel showing the same thickening with the same H, EH protein deposition here that is hyaline arteriolosclerosis. So, our, uh, feature B would be high arteriolosclerosis, feature A would be nodular glomerulosclerosis. Um, here, this is the um, section of the slide, the kidney showing some of the glomeruli varying stages of nodular glomerulosclerosis, but uh, one of them is completely diffuse glomerulosclerosis. Now, this one image shows all the stages of uh, glomerulosclerosis. If you see here, early stage of um, most of the glomerulus appears to be normal, but there are 1, 2, 3, 4 nodules have started appearing. In this, most of the glomerulus have nodules, but still there are some normal areas. And here, almost no normal area, it is big, two big uh, nodules and very few uh, cells around. This is almost the stage where there is no more uh, viable cells, but it is only just the nodules. And in this one, the terminal stage where even nodules are vanishing, replaced by just the fibrosis, so the full round scar. So, if I uh, um, put the stages 1, 2, 3, 4 and stage 5, gradual transition, uh, nodular glomerulosclerosis going through to diffuse total sclerosis. Okay. Um, uh, retinopathy, uh, fundus, all the features are there. Uh, what feature is shown by the big arrow? This large appears like hemorrhagic areas is the neovascularization. These are the hemorrhagic spots that is um, blots. These are dots, dark waxy deposits, pale areas are cotton wool deposits. Um, pathogenesis of uh, cataract is just osmotic polyol damage um, that is deposition of sorbitol. Um, diabetic foot ulcer on the dependent areas surrounded by thickened white skin although there is some area of hemorrhage but uh, usually this will be a painless ulcer a characteristic of neuropathic ulcers. Uh, 56 year old antreval MI proteinuria high glucose and uh, this shows the pancreas. Uh, this patient uh, typical features of uh, diabetes with complications and what we are seeing here is uh, highline are the pink deposits within the glomerulus, uh, sorry, um, islets of Langerhans that is the endocrine pancreas. Few cells are intact, but remaining is all just pink substance that is the typical appearance of uh, beta cell exhaustion replaced by uh, beta amyloid. Okay. So, what complications she may develop? Now, putting this and this together, this is just a terminal stage of advanced diabetes. So, in an advanced diabetes, what are all the common complications? Gallstones, chronic pancreatitis, uric acid stones, gangrene of food, pancreatic carcinoma, all can occur, but the commonest clinically would be gangrene of the foot. Um, 65 year old man, peripheral neuropathy, retinopathy, abdominal aortic aneurysm all complications of uh, atherosclerosis and his glucose is very high. So, he is a diabetic with atherosclerosis. Uh, this is the microscopic examination of his kidney biopsy. What I am trying to show is nodular glomerulosclerosis. Simple, okay. But note that what is the pathogenesis, what is the chemical nature that is the age protein. Describe the steps you already know. Uh, what are the renal pathology commonly seen in diabetic patients? Polynephritis, nodular glomerulosclerosis, diffuse sclerosis, end stage kidney, uh, renal papillary necrosis, so many things. Okay. Now, this is just another example of uh, retinopathy, you see all the features. Um, this is a picture of a patient with a diabetes and hypertension. Image shows microscopic appearance of his. What microscopic feature shows pathogenesis of high blood pressure? Now, if you see this, um, uh, this is the thickened blood vessel A that is uh, um, hyperplastic arteriolosclerosis or arteriosclerosis, which is a result of hypertension. B is a tubule kind of showing protein deposit that is um, granular cast, protein cast and that is evidence of um, uh, proteinuria. 
C is showing the um, arterioles showing thickening and D is showing the nodular glomerulosclerosis. So, hypertension, hypertension is typically secondary to arteriolosclerosis but also um, nodular glomerulosclerosis at the later stage, okay, but more typically arteriolosclerosis, thickening of blood vessels. So, decreased GFR and decreased GFR uh, leading to renin angiotensin mechanism and hypertension. Uh, this one is um, uh, ketoacidosis, I will leave it to you, this is interpretation of laboratory tests. Uh, kidney and a man with a long standing hypertension diabetes receives heparin. So, this was I took from a uh, USMLE question this one, uh, receives heparin after femoral fracture report, a week later he develops severe thrombocytopenia. So, it is a uh, patient with a diabetes, but um, uh, has been treated with heparin and following heparin treatment develops severe thrombocytopenia. So, this is a condition known as heparin induced thrombocytopenia. This is the normal kidney and his kidneys are shown here. Uh, small atrophic with multiple spots on the uh, depressions on the surface that is all the uh, end stage kidney disease due to glomerulosclerosis but one of the kidney is markedly uh, reddish and infarcted that is uh, infarcted kidney. So, infarctions occur in uh, post uh, heparin induced thrombocytopenia wherein platelets are utilized for forming large thrombi within the circulation heparin induced thrombocytopenia is the condition we have studied in hematology uh, probably you may have to revise. A 52 year old woman uh, diabetes 3 days to a fever. So, acute history of fever, dysuria, flank pain is typical of urinary uh, infection. Flank pain is more typical of kidney infection. Okay. What is the most likely diagnosis? Plenty of inflammatory cells everywhere, interstitium and within the tubules. So, this is acute interstitial nephritis, uh, inflammation of the kidney. Um, Pyelonephritis, what is the difference? Please read about. 72 year old woman, 22 year history of diabetes. So, long standing diabetes. Now, as a creatinine clearance of 20 mil ml, markedly low. And that is seen here by the kidney uh, glomeruli replaced by diffuse glomerulosclerosis and markedly thick blood vessels hyaline arteriolosclerosis narrowing and definitely that is the reason this is an end stage kidney. Okay. So, what is the most likely diagnosis? It is diffuse glomerulosclerosis or also you can call it as end stage kidney. Now, this is a bit tricky one, 42 year old female presents with recent onset polyuria polydipsia decreasing vision, 42 year old so mature adult. but uh, recent acute onset polyuria polydipsia. HbA1c is high that means hyperglycemia. Uh, she is a chronic alcoholic um, with uh, past history of jaundice and image shows her pancreatic biopsy. So, here I have given a history just to confuse because it is a uh, biopsy of the pancreas compared with the normal this patient is showing inflammation limited to endocrine pancreas, exocrine pancreas appears perfectly normal. Okay. So, inflammation is only in the endocrine pancreas. In an adult patient with the acute onset of diabetes is typical of LADA, okay. which is a type 1 diabetes occurring in adults, LAD LADA. Okay. So, that is all. This was just a repeat. Um, thank you.